Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, and you can find me on Instagram at El Ducho Thrift. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you like reselling content, hit the button down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up on your way out. Thank you so much. All right, I am here today with, I think, the final part of my Los Angeles haul. I'm pretty sure I'm like looking around in my office right now. I'm pretty sure I've shown you everything. I stutter on saying that because I mean if you have an office that looks like mine it's a little crazy and stuff is everywhere so I tried to gather up everything together and I think this is it so yeah until next time right? Okay so just to get right into it if you're interested in purchasing anything from me check out my stores. You can email me directly but check out my stores. I probably already have it listed. With that said, the first two items are not for sale. I'm going to keep for them for my son. Um, the first item is just so awesome. It is this polo Ralph Lauren shirt. It's a kid size 8. And look at these amazing colors on this. I had to keep that for him. And then I also got him this, I think it's H&M, yeah. This little Batman shirt. So I thought I would show those for fun. So now that that's over with. <laughs> okay, I got this scarf. It's super pretty. It's... I think vintage silk oh you know what I didn't photograph on here <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud now is the tag that they unfortunately punched through here left a little hole so I'm gonna need to take a photo of that but I just thought it was really pretty it's got these ballerinas on it there was some discoloration somewhere at least when I put it under my bright lights but it is I guess the term for this is hand rolled I don't know anything about scarves I just knew that it was pretty and silky and soft so yeah okay the next item I got is this Ted Baker men's blazer legit thought there was a stain somewhere on here but I just photographed it and I didn't find one so eh. but here it is um it's nice look at that lining there how awesome is that it is a size three whatever that means obviously a men's thought it looked awesome so I purchased it Okay, next item, I actually have the tag for this, so it is new with tags. It just fell off, so I need to reattach it, but the brand is called mm -mm -mm, Cora, Cora Villas, and apparently it's sold at Anthropology, and apparently it sells for a couple hundred dollars at least. I got one dress, Ty got at least like two or three, but it's this beautiful wool dress, midi length. This is a size, I don't know. Let's look at the inside tag. It's a size, it says it's the Isabel dress, size large. I'm like, hmm, <laughs> hmm, is that my size? Maybe. All right, next I have this Vineyard Vines shirt. It's a size small, it's pink, it's super preppy looking men's shirt, so hopefully that goes quickly. Okay, this, I'd never heard of this brand before. But my friend Laura and I looked it up. The brand is called Eight Days a Week by Frankie's Bikinis. Apparently that's a good brand. It is a size small and it's a romper. There's a little stain on it. Here it is. Romper, striped. There's like a little stain here somewhere. So I will just price that accordingly. Next is a Stussy t-shirt. I don't think this one's vintage. Nope. It's a size medium, but it does say Stussy on that breast pocket. So... I do pick up items if they are branded and say Stussy somewhere on it. Okay, the next item is this really cool dress, but I have no idea what this is. It looks like the construction of it looks really nice. Ty thought so as well, but I don't know what this brand is. So thank God for YouTube. Hopefully you guys can help me out. Okay, that's what it looks like. Can you see this? I know, like look up from your computer if you're listing. <laughs> I'm going to hold it up for another second. It's very faint and the tag has been embroidered on there, but what is that? I don't know. It's this really beautiful dress, kind of layered and all sorts of beautifulness. Dun, 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 dun. But I don't know what it is and there's no other tags on here, so maybe it's nothing. I don't know. I think I showed this in another haul, but I just photographed it now. So it's just the Susan Puccini skirt. So I'm going to put that to the side because I think I already showed that in a haul. Um, okay, these are sundry pants. Sundry, I don't know how you say it. They're size four. I believe this brand is sold at Anthropology, 
and I think these are like pajama bottoms if not just like beachy soft bottoms they're super soft I don't know what size that was like a medium or a large okay this was super awesome that I just had to buy it I don't know what it is I mean I kind of think I know what it is I think these are curtains like okay because look it's sewn in the back here at the bottom and the top so I think that like maybe it's like curtain <laughs> rods you and then you would like push them to the side because there's two of them but the print is so amazing look at this print I don't know who these ladies are but they're cool looking and there's like a sheen like a coated sheen to this fabric I don't know I thought it looked cool so I couldn't help myself all right this brand was new to me but the comps were good it's a swimsuit brand called Godiva Godiva I don't know how you I mean it's spelled with two which is not how you spell Godiva but it's Godiva London and it's this cut out one piece triangular bikininess so size small if I didn't say that okay next is this pair of Wilfred free pants these are a size small flowy pants I don't know what else to tell you about them. <laughs> okay this took me a heck of a time figuring out how it was supposed to go but it is this lululemon tank with a built-in adjustable bra it's kind of this aqua marine green color it's a size four and I like that it has the adjustable bra on there I'm somebody that when I work out I need good support <laughs> do you need good support do you need support in your life okay next is a pair of Escada pants there is the tag it, they're a size 38 however I think that somebody brought the waist in on these given what this looks like inside but anyways they're just a pair of nice black flowy slacks so yeah okay this is another one of those bikini tops I thought I'd hold them all but it's another one the brand if you didn't see my other video these are called Cia Martina not sure if that's how you say it CIA Martin Mar Merit Maritima I don't know. anyways this is a size medium the comps are good on these you know not like crazy high but decent this is a Vince scarf and I think it's in pretty good condition it's an infinity there is okay like maybe if you hold it to the side you can see some like minor snags but otherwise pretty good what's the material on this linen thought so there's that speaking of linen I have a pair of these Rue stick shorts. These are new tags. <laughs> They're linen. I can just tell by feeling them. Originally $110. So I did get a dress by this brand. It was in my last haul, I think. One of them. So yeah, new to me. Uh, these are Spiritual Gangster. These are size extra small and they are like tie-dye, yoga, pant, sweat pant, super stretchy pant, pants. <laughs> this was a new to me brand it's called rain have you guys heard of this before um I looked them up I couldn't find any comps on eBay but I looked up like their retail price and they sold for like over 200 euros which you know is like 200 something us but anyway that's what the tag looks like these are size 27 they have this awesome huge ankle zip at the bottom there those are this brand was new to me I think also I've or I've never picked it up woven threads so the comps on these these retail for around around like 80 to 90 dollars but you know they're not the best these ones aren't the best condition there is some spots there they could use like a real deep clean is what I'm saying <laughs> this brand I think I just bought it because of the price tag uh, so it's new with tags. It says knitted by IKKS X. Not sure if that's how you say it. It's a linen blend made in France. A child's dress. Originally $63. So if you got a fancy baby who needs a dress, I got your dress. This is Free People Beach. Uh, size large, big, flowy, salmon-y colored pants. They're not in perfect condition there is like some mild snagging but if you're taking the beach not a big deal these are some Nike dry fit size small running shorts look at that cut on the side I didn't even notice it like when I first bought them but it's okay I'll still sell them 
These are a pair of Adidas leggings, size US medium. And I bought them because they had the logo on the ankle. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, this is a Brandy Melville little beanie. New tags. Why not? Right? This is a Vera Wang. I believe it's a skirt. It's silk. It's new with tags. It's size 8. Don't know if that's like older Vera Wang. I'm guessing that's the case. I couldn't tell if this was like a tube dress or a skirt, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a skirt. Okay, I bought these because I thought I, they looked nicer than they probably are. The brand is Capital Tailors and it says single needle tailoring size 4. And I thought they were selvage, which that is. It has come on hem there a little bit. I don't know. When I looked up comps, I just didn't feel like later when I looked up comps, I didn't fe feel like I found a lot of good supporting evidence. So not sure if it was the smartest purchase, but I bought it anyway. These are a pair of Levi cut off denim shorts. They are the 550. However, there is some pink discoloration here, like something bled onto it, but hopefully that doesn't affect the resale too much but I don't know this is I think just a single panel from when I photographed it of a Missoni I don't know if it's it could be a shower curtain rod but I think it's a you know just like um drapes <laughs> but it's just Missoni Target and I thought I could put that on Poshmark home okay this is an Enza Costa is that how you say it do to do, do Enza Costa yeah jumper here uh no jumpsuit the pockets if i had to guess it looks like a size medium or large dun, 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 dun. and on the inside it says it was a sample because i don't think i saw a size this is another t-shirt from that brand i picked up a lot of items from called woodley there's not a size on this one but if i had to guess that's a medium large actually i really love it because it's purple which is my favorite color Next is a Woodley dress. This one's really pretty. It is new with tags. I feel like there's a hair on me. It's a size large, I believe, and it's kind of like this sherbet color, but it's ombre, so it get, the orange gets a little bit deeper towards the bottom. This dress is TT, which I think I said in my last haul is sold at Revolve. And there is some markings here I mean it probably would come out with like a wipe but I'll just note it but anyways it's like a little silky romper I don't think there's a size in it so I'm gonna have to figure out what that is but I guess that's a small next up is this dress from the brand Clayton I think I picked up something else from LA called Clayton this also doesn't have a size on it I had to guess it's a small it is a cut out maxi dress so here's like where it covers up your top <laughs> and then it's kind of cut out and then your bottom floral wonderfulness there's that okay next is that was loud so the comps on this woodley item the woodley items are actually really good so here's another new with tags woodley dress maxi dress this one's got this knit design on the top and then it's got an asymmetrical bottom that's pink yeah I can't remember what it was originally it's over a hundred I'm pretty sure retail uh, this is an urban outfitters not sure if this is a men's or a women's sweater chunky knit sweater kind of like a salmon color I'm gonna mark it as women's and just say oversized this is a Bailey 44 top size large off the shoulder it's really cute actually like a peasant boho style this eels oh another rue stick item this was originally priced at $129 I think it's just a top it's a size small where's the sleeves oh yeah it's got these like little sleeves here it's kind of this like burnt orange color what is this oh this is another Clayton dress I think this one's like a size small as well maxi it's got it's like kind of a golden sheer and it's all roughly super long pretty <laughs> this is a John Galt little halter no tank <laughs> crop tank um, 
John Galt items. It's Brandy Melville, so it's all one size fits most people who are small. <laughs> this is a Christian Dior uh, men's shirt. Yeah. Okay, but the thing is, it's like missing like three or four buttons, like right here. But it doesn't look like it is. It just looks like both sides are supposed to button. Somebody help me answer that. I don't know. I was, I, at first I was like, should I get this? And Ty and Laura told me to get it, so I got it. Uh, this is a Wallace sweater. It's a size small. Wallace is a division of Madewell. There's a small little hole here on the hemline. I think this is wool or cashmere. It's wool. Next, excited about this one. I have another one of the uh, brand Free City. And this is a, I think this one's the cashmere one, sweater. You can notice that both of these were put together at the end because I had to depill them, which I didn't want to do. Yep, this one's 100% cashmere. So the purple pants that I had from this brand sold rather quickly. I'm hoping that will be the case with this as well because I want all this stuff gone. <laughs> but that's my haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the stuff that I picked up from Los Angeles. And hopefully I have more stuff to show you very soon. I'll talk with you later. Bye.